We should have Lisa back here. Yeah, we should. I would love that. Lisa. It's a rainy day after a holiday. I love this little quilt. It is so cute. So seasonal. Definitely the time of year. Memorial Day. Did any of you have picnics? Do anything outdoor? It was actually cool. It was lovely though. Oh my gosh, so lovely. So lovely. Hello. Hey, I've been in California. I, I got my parents moved into assisted living after being in a house for 40 years and we got it done. They're very, very happy in their new spot. So I look a little, I look a little tired today. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I wanted Lisa. Look at what you've got going on. There's Miss Lisa. There she is. It's Halloween. Oh, can it be possible? Is it possible? It, it, it <laughs> <is>. <laughs> can it possibly yeah. be possible? Yeah, Let's is. see. Oh my gosh. Frightful night. That is really adorable. So we're making kits, of course. Lisa is our our quick our kit our kit quilter our kit quilter. <laughs> She is our, okay. yes, yeah. this fabric is super fun. How two big is that? All, two of them are already spoken for. Two of them are already spoken for. You better act quick, mm -hmm. ladies. Frightful night. It's actually 51 by 71. That's a nice yeah. size. Super simple. And yeah. the panel is so, let me come it's around where I'm not yeah. upside down. What, do you want me to hold it up? Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Even better, Lisa. <laughs> even better. <laughs> it's so cute. The kitty kitty just delights me. By the oh, there we are. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's it's really cute. cute. That is super Why cute. Look at those kitties. Yeah. Oh, they are definitely, they, he has glowing eyes, uh -huh. majorly glowing eyes. The whole thing's cute. It looks like it glows. Yes. So anyway, that's a little quilt that's going on. I'll show it to you again. There's the quilt kit. And Miss Lisa's putting together kits. Yeah, pretty fun. Pretty, pretty fun. Lots of good colors. Yes. So we thought we'd walk through the store. I love to walk through the store. I started at the back today instead of the front. Usually, I start at the front. Hello. I usually start at the um, front of the store and walk to the back, but today I thought I'd start at the back of the store and walk to the front. Yeah, so here is the latest. This is all new. Oh my gosh, this is a giant collection. It's called Fusion. Fusion Two. Fusion Two. Oh my gosh! It's like it's beautiful. It's actually really beautiful. These bolts are so so pretty. I'm gonna open one up for you so you can actually see it. See what it looks like. Um, look at that. It's got lots and lots of motion. There's a really cool. Do you know where the other? Here it is. There's a cool pattern mm -hmm. that is featuring um, the different colors of it. It's actually a pretty simple pattern. It's like a square and a square, a pinwheel turned on point, um, which is super cool. Linda wants to know when the summer class schedule will be out. And we actually have, we have an all new website coming. We're very excited. Um, so it should be coming in about two weeks and it will have the new class schedule out. Yes, Joyce and the girls yep. have been putting it all together. There's Miss Joyce. Hello, they're about all scheduled, so stay tuned. That's <laughs> right. It's coming really soon. Katie has been working like a mad woman um, mm -hmm. to get our new um, website, up. website together. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to be really nice. It's going to be a really nice shopping experience for you. And all the classes will be up there. And of course, we will send you an email and we'll probably do another Facebook Live featuring Absolutely. all the new classes. Cause, Absolutely, because yep. you're going to want to take them. And we're all excited about being together again. <laughs> Exactly. And you can see we're actually in the front of the store. Um, we have lifted mask requirements if you are vaccinated. So we would love to see your pretty face again. If you're vaccinated, take that mask off and we come in. We can see your smile. That's right. right. It's very nice. So anyway, let's go back to yeah, this fabric. I know. I think it's like 40 pieces. It's got every color under the rainbow. It is quite a stack of really, really lovely pieces. So that is Fusion 2. Then we're going to walk over to this area. This is a new collection. It's from um, Cottage Blue from Moda. I think it's a Robin Pickens. Oh, cool? yes, Robin Pickens. Yes. Yeah, Look at Robin this Pickens. one. I love this one. 
Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Pull out a couple more, Miss Joyce. Let's see if they... Well, this is kind of fun, too. These are. Look at these. Oh, yeah, really see? pretty. Mm -hmm. Those are really pretty. I love the scale of it. Me, too. And there's butterflies in the mix. So here's another color. Oh, kind of like a teal yeah, color. that's beautiful, too. Mm -hmm. Really pretty. It's actually a fun... It's teal and aqua and blue. Mm -hmm. So it's got the normal blue but then it added the teal and the aqua with it which i think is really pretty and then some really yeah. really fun patterns the glare is a little bad there there we go <coughs> oh it's allergy season i can definitely tell there's pollen in the air sorry the glare is a little reflective this is my favorite one <coughs> excuse me and if you wanted just a taste of it we have these little charm packs oh charm packs uh, mm -hmm. and then here's one more for the more um, ambitious. ambitious quilter. Mm -hmm. There you go. Lush light. But there's that. Lovely. Oh, swing to your left for just a minute. Oh, look at our wall. Look at, we have all of this up. Yes. I can't back up enough to see it all. Can you see how pretty it is? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty together. And Patty Four. I'll just scan down it so you can see the whole thing. It's like a tropical summertime out there with the bugs. Did you guys see the cicadas? Beth posted about the cicadas in her backyard and it was, it was intense. There was mountains of them. Not sure how I feel about that. But these are really cute. Somebody loves these. I love seeing a heart go by. Somebody's loving it. Donna says no, Donna Bell says no sound. Turn your volume up. I think we're talking. I think we're here. This is another new collection that's come in. <clears throat> really pretty loose leaf mm -hmm. yeah loose leaf and this is the kit that we made for it chevrons and a light background and a dark background oh yeah that's true there's two different backgrounds you can get it either in the dark which is what's shown on the cover mm -hmm. and then we also picked this light background so the chevrons would the color of the chevrons would stand up on a light background or on a dark background they are very pretty i am talking yes i am i hope you guys can hear me i'm talking Okay, let's turn it around again. And we were going to go over to, um, there have been some new projects made too. So Joy, or Jill has been very busy. She loves to make shop samples for us. So here we are. Ruby Star Society. The new Ruby Star Society is called Pearl, P-U-R-L. And it's super cute with the knitting theme. Look at that. So cute. Balls of yarn. And sweet birds. Look at that. So oh, red. that's super cute. Mm-hmm. The colors are really fun, coral and like a deep, mm -hmm. uh, really deep teal. This is, it's, it, yeah. And it kind of has an oriental flavor too. So. It does have a little mm -hmm. bit, yes. Yes, this is really a pretty one. I love this one too. This is really pretty. Oh, yes. There we are. And That's for those of you who beautiful. like tea. Oh, and little teapots. Mm -hmm. Check out the teapots. Super cute. And then this is my favorite. This is the little sample that Jill just made. And what I love about it, so it's a little pull pouch for your knitting supplies. She put little tiny bees. Can you see them? Little bees for the, her ties. They're so cute. But my favorite part is on the salvage, she or on the pocket, she picked a piece of salvage and cut it out to make an embellishment. So you can see that it's already fringed. Some of them are fringed, not all of them. And they say all different things. So this one says, I love yarn. This one, here's a different one. It's in pink. Let's see. Oh, here's one. Says, Sarah Watts. Oh, oh I, I think they all, say they I might all yarn. say I love yarn, mm -hmm. but they um, have different colors as mm -hmm. the bases. So this is this pink one. Does it say it too? It this has one? the designer's name, Sarah Watts, and then the name of the line, which is Pearl, and then I love yarn. Yes, it is. Yep, so they're cute. all. It is such a oh, made in Japan. Yes. Check it out. <laughs> Joyce loves that. I do. <laughs> That's right. She loves all things Japanese. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we have the um, the bag. This is a free pattern from the Ruby Star Society. It's called the Pearl Project Bag, and you can find it on the Moda website. If you have any trouble finding it, just give us a call or um, send us an email or comment that you need help, and we can send you a link. But it's super cute, free pattern. There's a second free pattern on the back side. There it is, and let's just show them the sample is right here. Jill was very busy. She said she made both of these on Sunday afternoon. Both projects were super 
uh, simple. She said maybe two hours each. Um, so this is just a really cute for that knitting, the, the woman who loves knitting in your life, and it could be you, um, needs one of these. And one more free pattern in that is the, um, oh, that's the right. chevron. Yep, here's another free pattern that just features the collection. Um, yeah, you can make many things with this beautiful fabric. Um, there was something else. I, oh, this is actually a panel that comes in three colorways, and here is one cut right here that shows you there's the, the knitting portion, but there's also, whoops, there's also a llama and a teapot. a teapot. And it comes in three different color families. So this one is the dark teal and orange. And then it comes in two other colors, which are right here. Here's one of them. And that has the dark teal and light teal. And then there's a pink, a pink and gray. So lots of color options for you for that collection. All right, let's go on. The next thing I was gonna show you is over here, we have a new koala studio. It is incredible. We're gonna have Joyce be the operator. Come on, Joyce. Joyce is the operator, here she comes. She's coming over. They just wanna see how high this goes. So. That's right. You know, and then Libby and Jill are on the side. They've got, actually, this is a wonderful table that is great, for, it's an adjusting table. And so Libby has a, um, one of the uh, leaves here so there's two of them just like that and then over here is a um, electric control this is so cool we have our creative icon sitting on it so you can be embroidering but look at this so it's i don't know if you you don't need to see me you need to see the table well it should be coming <laughs> okay. it should be coming up behind you there we go there it goes this is so amazing it gets as tall as joyce this is for people who are eight feet tall if you're eight feet tall 75 wide it goes out to 75 inches. Yeah, but I think I have to do it. There you go. Look at this. It's going taller, taller, <laughs> taller. I'm Joyce standing straight up under with it. my heels on. It looks like it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Look at this. Is, I, think your this ears. Is, I think that's as high as it goes. Yeah. Oh, my golly. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Let me just some sewing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> Wait, can we see it? Wait a second. Let me turn this around so I can see better. Here we go. There they are. This is through through the looking glass. Oh my gosh. I know. Yeah, Barb, yours is you're gonna be the first one to get one. We're all saying we want one. It's incredible how tall it is. And then hey girls, can you grab the two wings and show them how how wide it gets as well? I don't know if I can even show it. I'm gonna have to back up more to show how wide it gets. But yeah, so it's like a dining room table. Jill, Joyce says, if you need an extra, you know, for extra company. So then you put it on. That's how wide it gets when the leaves are put in. Anyway, this is hard to show you exactly, but it's a pretty darn cool. A little bit of storage in the bottom. And then these are magnetic um, for like your pens and stuff. So it, it grabs anything metal. And those oh, yeah. You want to see how low goes? And then we're going to, this is the control. Super simple. And it's going down. It's going down, down, down. I know. So this is the extra seating for the little ones. Look how low. Oh my gosh, and now it's too short for even Joyce. Stand up to it now, Joyce. <laughs> awesome. So anyway, it's, it's awesome. really cool. It is the smoothest operation yeah. too. Oh my gosh, it is so smooth. It's, it's yeah. really amazing. So Okay, well, even Miss Joyce has made a sample. Joyce, should we go take them over oh, to your... Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> She's having too much fun pushing the buttons, making it go oh, up and down. No. Okay, let's walk on over. Come with me, Joyce. Yes, we're coming this way. <laughs> walking, walking, walking. Because I begged and begged and begged for this beautiful cork. And I so... know. <laughs> and finally, we have the cork, and Joyce yes. made this really cute. Why don't you model it? Oh. It's a really cute little tote here. So it has candy. On the top. Okay, let me turn it this way so they can hear it. It has better. Um, canvas on the top, and then we have the cork on the bottom. Look how shimmery that is. Oh, it's so pretty. That's the cork she was wanting yes. so badly. There were two, actually. So there's the gold one, and then this one, this little um, tag, is the multicolor, which is so pretty. Look at that. It is really and then, cute. Um, P for Petrick? P for Petrick <laughs> is exactly right. And then we have um, 
the um, the metallic yeah. Essex on the mm -hmm. inside, which is so such a shiny, really soft. The mm -hmm. other thing, this bag feels amazing. Did you mm -hmm. put the SF one? I did. SF one hundred one, just to give it a nice little support. But it's just a lightweight. It has little feet on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And then we just did a little touch with the brads. At I the love top. these. I love these little brads. Yeah. Let's see. If they can see. see. Yep. There. See the little brads right there. Yeah. Super cute. So Love there's some those. really cool tools that we got in that um, made this really simple. And I'm, I'm a gadget girl, so um, can we show them Yeah, let's tools? show the tools. Where are we going to do it? Um, we can do it right here. Okay. okay. Awesome. So uh, first of all, here is the pattern I just got. It's a free pattern that I got online, and it's from, it's a silky blog for a free um, cork tote. That's where I got the pattern for that tote behind us. And if you want it. Yeah, if you if you um, Google sulky free cork tote, you'll find it. If you mm -hmm. again, if you have trouble finding it, it's their blog. It's not a downloadable PDF, but it is a blog post. Mm -hmm. It's super good. She has videos. She has all kinds of pictures and illustrations. Yardage requirements. Yeah, it's yep. good. It's yep. good. So that's where that came from. But um, so where should I start? Because I just loved it all. So, um, so here's one of the, the new tools that I love, and it's by OESD. And you're probably going, what in the world is this? So when I put in the brads, I use this little guy and it has, if you take the top off of it, you can see that there's extra tips here. And then I have one of the tips in the bottom. So what you would do is just, you could take a tip out and already have one out. So let me just put the top back on. Let's see if I can see what I'm doing. Okay. If I'm doing it on video, then it's just, it doesn't work right. Okay, so here, here's this and you just unscrew it. You just unscrew the top and then you just replace the tips like that. So I'm putting the tip in three different sizes and then you just screw it down like this, okay? And then here's some cork. You wanna, can you sh show it down here? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just- I'm gonna flip it here so we can so see what you can kinda see what you're doing and I'll try to talk loud enough. So this is just a small little cutting mat that I have. You don't wanna use any of your good cutting mats but um, because this really does the trick. So here's some cork and I can just kinda do, let's do three layers just so you can see. And I'm gonna put it right here and then I'm taking this tool and I'm just going to make a hole so I can put that brad in it. So you just push down like that. It's very easy to do. Wow. Look at that, so easy, wow. right? I know, it's pretty cool. Then you would just take your little um, brad, let's take that out, and you can just pop it right in like that. Look at that. Look how wow. easy that is. And then this would just snap on the back. Oh, I need one of those. Isn't that, it is the it's coolest so thing. so cool. And let me tell you what else made me really, really happy. So some of you have done um, the Kimberbell projects where she does the cute lights and everything. So, but when you get these parts, the little holes that you um, stitch in so you can put your lights through. So here's some lights. And um, it's been a struggle. The struggle has definitely been real just to get the lights through without messing up the lights because you normally have to stitch it out and then you kind of get your seam ripper and an awl or whatever to try to get it big enough to get the lights through. So this tool works on that too. So what I did was I stitched on this. Um, I, I just put some of those same holes. I put them on, um, I embroidered it last night so you can see. So I've got my little tool here and instead, so all you have to do is center it into that that um, you know into the eyelet and just push down again and look at that look how perfect that is isn't it great that's so amazing I know it makes me so happy <laughs> so look now if you'd known how yeah. hard Pam had to struggle yeah. to get her lights in that's not even light yep <laughs> right <laughs> right it was it was it was the struggle it was definitely real so then you just you just whoop I went right through here that's my other project I want to tell you about I don't have my magnet on. Let me put my magnet on so you can see. These are called so tight magnets. You can use them if you're doing working on cork or if you're working on vinyl or leather or anything like that. Yes, the so tight. So there's different sizes and shapes. These have um, um, a metal piece back here and then the magnet here. So because you don't want to put pins into cork or vinyl or anything like that, what you can do is use this instead and it will hold it in place. So what I did was I just hooped up some um, stabilizer. I just slapped. Um, um, a charm square on top of this and then I just used my sew tights here to hold it down and That's then so I stitched cool. it out. So Isn't instead of basting or using yes. pens or even using tape, yes. the magnet holds it. That's Absolutely. Super cool. Or even if you want to put your topper on that way, you can use it with your topper. Oh, that's a great idea. Right? Yeah, so great it's idea. very, very versatile. You can use it for sewing. You can use it for embroidering. So anyways, and then you just put your little... This guy's not staying, but it goes through here really easily, just like that. There it is. Wow. There it is. That was so different than Pam's experience. She was really struggling to get her lights in her display. And they're all perfect. 
They yeah. are. Okay. I love also that I have to point out that <laughs> Walsh is your daughter's yes, last name. Miss so Jordan. She, she yeah, may, I don't know if house. I'm supposed to tell her. Yep, that's oh, she, she would see. Oops, it was a surprise, Jordan. <laughs> Sorry, I think I just told you. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Donna wants a couple sew tiles. Donna, you're a smart so woman. Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> here's here's one woman. more thing. This is um, with that other really pretty cork. So this oh, is, oh, um, there we go. oh, there it is. There it is. So this is, um, you can do the same thing. It stitches out this way. And what you can do is you can just like unscrew this, take off that chip. We're gonna take this off and then we're gonna get the larger one and put this one back. Isn't this cool? Oh, all it's so cool. Story, so it's cool the way it's it, all right? organized too. I know. That's super awesome. You don't have to worry about losing the tips, exactly. right? Exactly. Very then you organized. Just pop, look how easy that is. I'm going to pop that on top, screw it back down, and then I'm going to just go within here because it doesn't have to be cut out just like that just to get your cord through. And then it just pops right out. There it is. Wow. There it is. I don't know if you can see that. Super mm -hmm. cool. So those are my, my new tools of the day. Those are awesome. Super awesome. Okay, I think we showed them fabric, we showed them mm -hmm. quilt kits, we showed them our cork pad. We still have our the new cork. Table. Yeah, the new table, our beautiful display of the quilts. Mm -hmm. Whoops, let me turn it around so you can see them. So pretty. There they are. So pretty. The beetle and the moth. And then the middle one is called um, Petty Four that Libby did, and it's um, by Anna Maria Horner's. Yes, Anna that. Maria Horner. And yeah. that is a, um, a purchase. It's only a download pattern mm -hmm. for Anna Maria Horner, but we do have the fabric here, mm -hmm. and then we do have kits and patterns of our insect friends together, so anyway it's so so good to see you guys again thanks for joining thanks. us and uh we'll see you next week yep bye, bye. thank you